Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Calvin. Hope you're all doing well. I want to first off apologize for being inconsistent. I am trying to make it a point of uploading regularly, but I've just been very busy with trying to balance personal life with my YouTubing, but I am trying to make it a point to get better at that. Uh, thank you all so, uh, all so much for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe. Put the notification bell on to be alerted for all my upcoming videos. My last video was uh, two weeks ago and I talked about victim mentality and emotional blackmail. So please make sure to check that out if you haven't. In the meantime, from not uploading videos consistently, I try to upload shorts. So I uploaded one about last week about codependency and one earlier today about communal narcissist and what that is and communal narcissism. So please check that out if you haven't, guys. In this video, I want to talk about Munchausen syndrome and Munchausen syndrome by proxy what they are and how they're different and I just want to go in depth about these two things. So with all that being said, let's get into this video. So what is Munchausen Syndrome? Munchausen Syndrome by definition is a rare type of mental disorder where a patient fakes illness to gain attention and sympathy. It's often hard to diagnose because the tests, they test for multiple other mental disorders before this one and it takes time to rule all those out to just to specify if it's really Munchausen syndrome that somebody suffers from. The treatment for this, it aims to manage the condition rather than cure it. And more often than not, it is rarely successful in curing this um, condition. So I find Munchausen syndrome very, very interesting. Only because, so this whole channel was dedicated to narcissism, right? And that was always the goal. And I know we maybe swayed a little bit talking about other types of personality disorders or other types of toxic traits. But I feel like all of it ties back to narcissism. So narcissism, if you guys remember or need a refreshment of what that is, is when somebody, an individual, is so enamored with themselves and their self-admiration that they need the attention, they can't be challenged, all their status, like, it just, they can't be seen negative in any way shape or form right and they always need to be the center of attention munchausen syndrome is when somebody fakes an illness in order to get that intention now i find this very interesting because faking an illness is already like for lack of a better word insane in the sense like you need to be the center of attention that you are telling people, maybe your family, significant other, your kids, your friends, your close one, your loved ones, that you're sick. That you think you are like terminally sick or you just need to go to the hospital 24-7. And this way, they'll always have this type of control on you. Whether it's like, oh, I'm in the hospital, why don't you, why don't you care? Oh, I'm in the hospital. Why didn't you come visit me? So if, say, you didn't come visit them, right? And they they get better, maybe because nothing was ever, you know, the, wrong with them in the first place. So they get discharged, all that stuff. But now they give you the cold shoulder because they're like, why didn't you come visit me? But you knew this person, this individual, was never really sick. They just wanted for attention. But that's where the narcissism comes into play. They just wanted this so they could have all that attention so that you could just be worried about them 24-7. But let's, on, let's flip it. On the, other, on the other side of the coin, right? Say you went with them. Oh, you really thought they were sick. Or you went with them just so they wouldn't cause such a big deal. But now you become the enabler in that sense. And I'm not saying it's always the case. Like, say, you think somebody's toxic. You think there's a narcissist and... They, they think they're sick and they need to go to the hospital. They might be sick. I'm not saying they're not. But more chances than not is that they're really just using this for attention. Even if they have a... This is even more true if they have a track record of always saying that they're sick. Or always saying that they don't feel well. They need to go to the hospital. They have a fever. All this type of stuff. Even when maybe you'll do a test on them and it'll just be fine. You take their temperature. They have no temperature. They have no fever. They're just perfectly okay. But they just need the attention on them so bad, they need to have that control over you or over the people around them that they'll just they'll just argue with you saying that they're sick, saying you don't care about them, all this all this nasty stuff about them. But in reality, you could see right through their ways, right? 
And people who do this say they do end up going to the hospital. They get all these tests done on them for the doctors trying to figure out what's um what is wrong with this individual, but nothing's coming back um nothing's coming back abnormal. The person could very well argue with the doctor, the medical staff, saying, Oh, you don't know your job, you don't know what you're doing, I'm sick, I need to be here, all this type of stuff, right? And this especially is very bad because you're taking away resources from people who like actually need them. Like say as somebody's actually like sick, emergency, they get in an accident, all the stuff, but they're too busy with you because you're saying that you are sick. Right? And that's just a crazy thing to me because these individuals will go above and beyond to just get the attention all on them. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you gotta drop everything to help them in that second. And if you don't help them, you're labeled as the bad guy, quote unquote. And that ties back into one of my other past videos about smear campaigns. Uh, smear campaigns. So say you don't help them, but then like say they get back and they're back to work or they go back to um, any other events that they go to in the community. And they'll obviously tell these people that, oh, I was sick, all that stuff. But then they'll be like, oh, but my son, my daughter, my, my wife, anybody, my friends, they didn't show up. Because I was sick. What, do they not care about me? And then it, it ends up that you, you become the per, the uh, the person in the wrong in that situation. And that's unfair to anybody. But that's just the reality of it. When you're dealing with a narcissist. Or not even a narcissist. Just dealing with somebody who has Munch, uh, Munchausen syndrome. So I just wanted to go in depth with that. Because I found this one very interesting. And I've heard about this term before. And personally, I think I know somebody who maybe has a type of, um, not not maybe like a slight condition of Munchausen syndrome, but it is very interesting the length that certain individuals go to to just get the attention on them, and no matter no matter who else. The next topic I want to talk about is a form of Munchausen syndrome, and this is called Munchausen syndrome by proxy. So Munchausen syndrome by proxy is a mental illness and is a form of child abuse. The caretaker of a child either makes up fake symptoms or causes real symptoms to make it look like their child is sick. Now this is literally the same thing as Munchausen syndrome, but it's by proxy, which means it's on behalf of someone else. So if you're a caretaker, you make it seem like maybe your kid is sick or something, right? And this is um this is what that means. It means like the the caretaker of the person will make sh will make it a point to maybe the easiest example is to say your child to make your child sick to make him think he has a disease or something because you want all that attention towards your family towards saying maybe you're playing the brave caretaker role, but in reality your child is fine. This is a form of child abuse, and I feel like this one. There have been cases in the past where there have been a caretaker telling, saying that a child is sick, but they aren't, but they live the lifestyle of a child actually being sick. This could cause multiple problems down the line. If you're taking medicine that you don't need to be taking, it could only cause your body harm because there's nothing to fight it off. You're just taking the medicine just to take it and it will cause you way more harm than good. Like, I cannot exaggerate that enough. The fact that this is a form of child abuse and is also another term, medical uh, medical abuse, because you're, you're abusing the medical system. You're taking, you're getting your child all these prescribed medicines because uh, you, on, you're the authority of your child and you're making them believe that they have some sort of sickness where they're not. And I feel like Munchausen syndrome by proxy is... It's, I, w I don't want to say even worse, but honestly, I think it is. It's even worse than the regular Munchausen syndrome because both of them are bad. Don't get me wrong, right? But if you're doing, if you're saying yourself that you you yourself are sick and you're arguing with all that, that's one thing. But if you're doing it on behalf of someone else, someone who is still adjusting to the world, someone who just is living their life, right? But they're unfortunately in a toxic toxic situation, and you 
or the caregiver in the situation and you're telling that this child is sick when they're not sick, that could cause so many mental problems down the road, neurological problems down the world or down the uh, world down the road, excuse me. And it could be all these things and it just baffles me that this actually happens in real life. People want the attention so bad that they will go as far as saying that their child is sick. That you need to care for this child. And they will play the brave hero saying, Oh look, I sacrificed all this time taking care of X, Y, and Z. When in reality, like, I should be... I shouldn't have to do this. Like, why me? But in reality, the, the, the child is perfectly fine. But you just want all that attention to yourself. And... For I don't I'm kind of speechless when I was like looking this up because I've seen I have seen cases I don't know specifics off the top of my head, but I have seen cases where um, Munchausen syndrome by proxy or is displayed. People or get kids get pulled uh, put into wheelchairs. They forget how to walk because the caretaker is telling them that they don't know how to walk. Like all this type of terrible things, right? And they could, they could even go as far as the same as I said by the first Munchausen syndrome, the one. The one that you yourself are saying that you're sick for attention. They could take their kid to the um doctor and do all the tests, this, that, and the third. And they will they will deliberately skew the results of the test to prove that to for it to display that something is wrong. When in reality you as a caregiver are the reason that something is wrong. But they go that far into proving a point that they can't be wrong about this. They're never wrong. So look, my child is sick. They're the results. I, I like they're just tampered with, and it's just insane to think about that there are people like this in the world that abuse their children. Cause let's face it, it is child abuse to just make them seem like they're sick, make them be on all this medicine, doing basic functions, letting them forget how to walk because you just want all this attention. And honestly, it's it's just insane. But I just wanted to talk about these two things really quick because I feel like they are said and there are cases out there, but I don't think it gets talked about as nearly as much as it should. But those are just my two cents on, on these on these topics. So that brings me to the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for all the support. I know I've been inconsistent with the uploads. I am trying to get better at that. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Put the notification bell on so you get... Alerted for all my upcoming videos. I'm trying my best to become more consistent. I want to make that a real point in the new year and take this channel more seriously. Leave your leave a comment on if you ever heard of Munchausen syndrome or Munchausen by uh, by proxy. I've again, as I said earlier, I've heard about these, but researching them more kind of got me frustrated that you know there are people like this in this world that. Just abuse the, the system and they don't care who it affects. But that is what narcissism is at the end of the day. But with all that being said, guys, again, thank you so much for the support. If you guys want any specific topics for me to talk about, please do let me know. But in the meantime, I'll catch you guys in the next video.